In this episode of Tokyo Rides, it's an awesome day. We're heading into Roppongi for an amazing cappuccino at the Mercedes Cafe. Hop on! Hop on! It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hello, neighbors. Did anybody actually watch Mr. Rogers as a kid? That thing just creeped the hell out of me. All those puppets, especially that one with the pointy chin and the Lord, Madam Creep, whatever her name was. Those rosy cheeks and ah, God. There's just something, the music and the pace of it, I just couldn't take it as a kid. I don't think I ever watched even one episode. By the time old Fred was putting on his sweater, I was done with that BS. But regardless, I think he was a good man, but he could have chosen his puppets a little more wisely. So we are heading into Roppongi today. I'm expecting light traffic. It's a really nice June day today. The air is still coolish. Warm day, but coolish air, which won't be around for much longer because it's going to get all steamy and hot and gross. One of the beautiful things is though the traffic is still really light on the roads, especially the, uh, the expressway. Spoke too soon, look on the other side here. They're dealing with some traffic. Maybe there's a, an accident. Oh, oh yeah, there's an exit there, so that's why. But traffic is still relatively light during the congestion times. Of a nice Mercedes CLS 220D. the Shuto Expressway Route 5. Route 5 is one of the kind of uh, fingers that branches off of C2. There's an inner and an outer loop, an innie and an outie. And this is the congestion that we don't like. This We, we came off C2, we're coming up on C1, as you can see there on the board. Right up over there is Otemachi, Nihonbashi area. All right. Right into the PBG lane, ladies and gentlemen. I've got the uh, dark visor down so nobody can see my eyes. They won't know who I am. You would never do this in any country other than Japan. You'd be shot. People will be running you off the road. When Volkswagen has come a long way from the Beetle, they're getting all sporty on us now. And this on either side is Chidori Gafuji. Imperial Palace is off over there on the left. We're going to take the Kasumi Gaseki exit off of the tunnel and head into Rapongi. We 
park near Midtown and pop in for a cheeky cup at the uh, Mercedes Cafe. Right off to the right here is the uh, Prime Minister's residence coming up. That's why you see a large number of police in this area. But they aren't traffic cops. They can't do anything. They've got a station, they gotta stay there. So you could ride a wheelie through if you wanted to. You're right off in these trees is the Prime Minister's residence. It's a pretty slick building. So up to the left, Toronto, off to the right, Tameke Sanno. And we'll be passing through Rapongi One Chome shortly. This is Ark Hills A and A Hotel. Right here on the left. Oh, what an awesome day. What an awesome day. God, I would love to live in a climate that had weather like this year-round. I might bore of it though after a while. I guess Hawaii is kind of like this. It's a nice summer look. Uh, all right, we want to go to the left here. Let's go to the left. So we are going to park over by Midtown. We wanted to go to the right, actually. So we're going to have to do a U-turn. Rapongi, like a lot of the roads in Tokyo, has a lot of one-way streets. So it's a real pain to get where you want to go. I think what we're going to do is a cheeky little maneuver here. Get going this direction. Mm -hmm. Was that snazzy or what? Pretty slick, huh? If you're on a 50cc bike, you cannot turn right at a light. You have to do kind of a little maneuver like I just did and go straight. So you do a little half UE and head out straight, if that makes sense. You can't pull into a right turning lane on a 50cc bike but also when you can't turn right or do a u-turn if you do this little maneuver it's legal so now we're going to turn right here all right it's starting to get hot here people so this is Rapongi. this is a very seedy strip right here i put in a lot of hours in this street back in the day. Oh man, those were good times. Wouldn't be caught dead here now. Oh, we got it. We can't we want to go straight here, so we got to be in this lane here. We cannot cross that yellow either. The fuzz are always on red alert. So yeah, the Roppongi is the night part of Tokyo for foreigners and Japanese and foreign loving Japanese. It's a nice Ferrari here on the left. This is Midtown over here on our right. And we are styling. We got plenty of time to get a cup. This is the studio we're working at here today, Art Plaza. And voila. See you at the coffee shop. So we're right across the street. Behind me here is Midtown. And uh, we're gonna head over to the Mercedes Cafe. There's Barney's New York over there. For those of you who have deep pockets. So this is the Mercedes Cafe. It's called Mercedes Me. It's a pretty cool space, actually. They've got some new model Mercedes on display. Fully electric SUV. Awesome. Really nice looking ride. It's actually similar to the uh, Cayenne Porsche. 
body-wise. That's slick. Nice car. This is for your pet monkey. This is cool. Oh man. To be a baby again. That's awesome. Look at that. 200 bucks. This is the GLE Coupe. I think maybe our coffee's ready. This is a cool spot. And they do a really good cappuccino. Check this out. Isn't that awesome? One of the guys working here actually was a barista champion for uh, maybe two years ago. And I think he's since moved on, but he was the champion, world champion, I believe. Um, so they do uh, good coffee here. Check it out. And no, I'm not sponsored by them, sadly. All right, I gotta get to my job. It's been a pleasure. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you would like to support the channel, you can always buy me a cup of coffee. The details are in the description. Ride carefully, and I will do the same. Let's go check out this Model T behind us. Hmm, decisions. That Mercedes, or this. Pretty slick, it's cool. It looks like this new barbershop, Wolfman Barbershop.